Good day and welcome. Today, we're diving into an important topic in geography, population concepts. What do terms like birth rates, death rates, and population growth rates mean? How do infant mortality rates and life expectancy give us insight into the health and well-being of a population? These are some of the questions we'll answer in this video. Stick around until the end for some brain-teasing questions to test your understanding. Challenge yourself and see how well you've grasped the material. It's a fantastic way to boost your confidence for those upcoming tests and exams. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. Alright, let's get started on this journey together and explore these essential population concepts. So, let's get started. Population refers to the total number of people living in a specific area, such as a city, country, or the entire world. As of 2024, the current world population is approximately 8 billion people. In South Africa, as of 2022, the population is around 62 million, while Nigeria has a much larger population of about 223 million, making it the most populous country in Africa. The United States also has a significant population, with about 340 million people. The countries with the highest populations in the world are China, with over 1.4 billion people, and India, which is close behind with a similar population size. These two countries alone account for a significant portion of the global population. The Earth's population is getting bigger and bigger. Some parts of the world are very crowded, while other places have fewer people. The birth rate is the number of babies born per 1,000 people in a country per year. When we say that a country has a birth rate of 20, it means there are 20 live births per 1,000 people in that population per year. Understanding the birth rate is important because it helps gauge the rate at which a population is increasing due to births, thereby influencing population size and growth. A higher birth rate usually indicates a growing population. Factors influencing birth rates include economic conditions, cultural and religious beliefs, access to health care and family planning, government policies, and education levels. High birth rates are often seen in developing countries where access to contraception might be limited and cultural norms favor larger families. Conversely, Low birth rates are common in developed countries where people might choose to have fewer children due to career priorities, economic reasons, or lifestyle choices. The death rate, or mortality rate, is the number of deaths per 1,000 people in a population per year. When we say that a country has a death rate of 9, it means there are 9 deaths per 1,000 people in that population per year. Understanding the death rate is important because it helps gauge the rate at which a population is decreasing due to deaths. Lower death rates can lead to population growth. Factors influencing death rates include healthcare quality, nutrition, living conditions, prevalence of diseases, and access to clean water and sanitation. High death rates are often seen in countries with poor healthcare systems, high levels of poverty, and high prevalence of diseases. Conversely, low death rates are common in developed countries with advanced healthcare systems and higher living standards. The population growth rate is the rate at which the number of individuals in a population increases over a given time period, typically expressed as a percentage. It is calculated by subtracting the death rate from the birth rate. For instance, if a country has a birth rate of 20 and a death rate of 9, this means there are 20 live births and 9 deaths per 1,000 people annually. The difference of 11 per 1,000 people represents the natural increase in population. Understanding the population growth rate is important as it indicates how fast a population is growing or shrinking. 
positive growth rates signify that the population is increasing, while negative growth rates indicate a decrease. Zero population growth occurs when the birth rate equals the death rate. The infant mortality rate is the number of deaths of infants under one year old per 1,000 births in a given year. An infant is a baby younger than one year old. This rate is a crucial indicator of the overall health and well-being of a population, as well as the quality of healthcare and living conditions. Factors influencing infant mortality rates include access to healthcare, maternal health, nutrition, sanitation, and vaccination programs. High infant mortality rates are often seen in developing countries with poor healthcare systems, inadequate nutrition, and poor living conditions, while low infant mortality rates are common in developed countries with advanced healthcare systems and higher living standards. This table shows the recent infant mortality rates and under 5 mortality rates for 5 countries, China, USA, Japan, South Africa, and Niger. Infant mortality rates tell us how many babies out of 1,000 die before their first birthday. China has an infant mortality rate of 6, while the USA has 5.4, Japan has 1.8, South Africa has 25, and Niger has 47. The under 5 mortality rate tells us how many children out of 1,000 die before their fifth birthday. In China, this rate is 9, in the USA it is 6.6, .6, in Japan it is 2.5, in South Africa it is 33, and in Niger it is 83. This shows that countries like Japan have very low rates, meaning most children survive, while countries like Niger have higher rates, indicating more children die young. Life expectancy is the average number of years a person in a specific place can expect to live, and figures for life expectancy can be given for whole countries or parts of a country. It provides insight into the overall health and quality of life in a population. Factors influencing life expectancy include healthcare quality, lifestyle choices, nutrition, living conditions, education, and socioeconomic status. High life expectancy indicates good healthcare, high living standards, and a healthy lifestyle, and is common in developed countries. Conversely, low life expectancy indicates poor health care, lower living standards, and possibly a high prevalence of diseases, and is common in developing countries. As of 2023, the average life expectancy for the entire world is approximately 72.8 years. This figure represents an average across all countries, reflecting improvements in health care, nutrition, and living conditions globally although there are significant differences between different regions and countries. We have come to the end for today. But before we go, please take a moment to attempt the following questions before the answer. <laughs>